Hello, welcome back to another medication management lesson. 大家好，欢迎回到多一个药物管理的课程。So today is lesson three of medication management, and we're gonna continue with uh talking about the major mental illnesses. So today is lesson three. We're gonna continue with uh talking about the major mental illnesses. So uh the objective is to have a basic understanding of the different types and categories of mental illness. So this objective is to have a basic understanding of the different types and categories of mental illness. Okay, so let's begin with somatoform disorders. Uh, we first start with the three types of mental illness. So what somatoform disorders mean? Are basically they are a group of psychological disorders in which a patient experiences physical symptoms that cannot be explained by an underlying general medical or neurological condition. Neurological means uh something pertaining to the brain. 所以，躯体形式障碍是一组心理障碍，其中那个患者会经历无法通过基本的一般医学或神经系统状况来解释的身体症状。So one of uh one type of somatoform disorder would be the body dysmorphic disorder (BDD), and it's characterized by an obsessive thinking about a flaw on a specific part of your body or face that is often imagined or present. Exaggerated in your mind and hardly noticeable to anyone else. So symptoms include compulsively checking perceived flaw, attempting to minimize appearance of perceived flaw, and social isolation prevent to prevent others from seeing it. So for example, like if this person uh exaggerate uh for example a pimple on their face or like a scar on their face, they will think that it's such a big scar when it, in fact it could be actually a very very small scar and they will try to like cover it up. 所以，躯体变形呃障碍就是患者会对面面部或身体特定部位的缺陷有强迫性的观念。这种缺陷通常是患者想象出的，并不是真实的。所以，比如如果是一个小呃脸脸上的一个小疤痕，他们会好像呃觉得很大，非常非常的大。可是其实人家看到是很小很小的。如果缺陷是真呃真实的话，算存在的话，虽然其他人很少会注意到。患者的脑海中还是会把它夸大。症状包括强迫检查缺陷，试图把缺陷藏起来，以及社会距离，阻止他人呃看到它。Next will be pain disorder. Pain disorder is a chronic pain experienced by a patient in one or more areas, and is thought to be caused by psychological stress. 疼痛症是呃，这这个障碍是患者在各或多个部位经历慢性疼痛。这种疼痛症是由心理啊、呃、压力引起的。Now we're gonna talk about factitious disorder. 我们现在说的是人为疾病。Okay, so factitious disorder is a mental disorder in which someone deceives others by appearing sick or purposely getting sick or by self-injury. So you might be wondering why do they do so? So they have this inner need to to let others see them as like ill or injured. 所以人为疾病是一种啊、呃、精神障碍的。会使患者会装病，故意生病或者自残来欺骗他人。那为什么他们会这样呢？因为病患者有一个内在的需要，是被呃视为自己是生病的或者是受伤的。Okay, now we're gonna move on, and we're gonna talk about dissociative disorders. 我们现在要说的是解离障碍。Okay, so dissociative dissociative disorders is kind of like if you understand what dissociate means, it's basically where your body or mind has this like form of like uh. They dissociate from each other in the sense they are like not linked anymore, so it feels very like out of body sensation. So dissociative amnesia is a condition in which a person cannot remember important information about his or her life. So for example, suddenly they can't remember how old they are. Uh, they cannot. They cannot. Uh, remember like oh how what what's my name? This is different from uh, this is different from like uh dementia in the sense that. They have ruled out all like symptoms of dementia, so this will be dissociative amnesia. Then we have dissociative fit. It's similar, whereby it's a psychological state in which a person loses awareness of their identity, but they also engage in some form of unexpected travel, and they might even uh take a new identity. So there was this case whereby this person he was passed over by a pro uh for a promotion, so someone else got a promotion. Then one day his family couldn't find him. Then uh eventually police found him. He was living in another city. And he had a new identity, and he was working at something completely different. And when they told him, 
he didn't uh they couldn't recognize his family and he was like he insisted that it was like he insisted that he was who the new identity was and he couldn't remember his own one. So this is dissociative field. So uh Jenny Sing Sui Zhen just I can Ufa Tizu Ta Yo Guan Ta Ho Ta Shen Wa the Jong Yao Sing Si the Ting Kwan. Taman Tong Jahui Kana Subusang uh Lugo 真正的发生的事是有事件是有一位男子他好像呃他想升职可是结果呃老板给别人升职了但突然间他突然间不见了他他的家人找不到他报了警结果他们在另外一个城市找到了他可是他呃拿了新的一个身份他然后他们呃想
呃，净化他们的身体。Okay, next we're gonna talk about sleeping disorders. Okay, finally we have uh, we're finally talking about sleeping disorders. Okay, sleeping disorders. First would be hypersomnia. It's a condition in which a person has trouble staying awake during the day. So people who have hypersomnia can fall asleep at any time, even during like halfway through work or even when they are driving. On the opposite spectrum, there's insomnia, and it's a sleep disorder in which you have trouble falling and not staying asleep. This can be very very painful because like some people can like even like this can there's like acute and and like severe acute would be maybe a uh, few like once a week they cannot sleep but then a uh, uh, severe one would be like uh I mean a chronic one would be like maybe like one three times a week they cannot fall asleep it's actually very very painful even when they're very tired. Okay, so 嗜睡症就是一个人好像白天难以保持清醒的状态。然后是，呃，这种嗜嗜睡症的人，可能会随时入睡，就算在工作一半或者在开车时，突然间就会，呃，睡入睡的。然后失眠症就是相反的，他们无法入睡或难以入睡，好像他们睡觉一半又又会突然间起来这种的障碍。然后，呃 ，OK， then we have narcolepsy。And narcolepsy is basically like includes like excessive sleepiness, sleep paralysis, and hallucination. So they have a lot, a few of like symptoms. Not only they they feel uh very sleepy. They sometimes will have these like sleep paralysis where they cannot move but they're awake, and then they look around and they cannot move, they cannot talk. This is called sleep paralysis, and then hallucinations. After that, we have sleep sleeping a、uh, sleep walking. It's a behavior disorder that originates during deep sleep, and results in walking or. Walking or performing other complex behaviors while asleep. The way to wake up people who sleep walking is to make a sudden noise or loud noise while they are sleep walking, uh, to wake them up. But at the same time, keeping a distance because they might get very like, uh, dazed and confused, which might make them aggressive. Sleep disorder 还有呃、uh, 多两种就是发作性呃、uh, 睡病就是这种症状包括像度呃、uh, 度失水，然后睡眠麻痹和幻觉，睡眠麻痹就是好像你睡觉一半突然起来，然后你不能动，你手脚都不能动，然后你想叫也不能叫，可是你就转来转去，你可以看到周围，可是你就是不能动。啊、然后梦游症是一种行为障碍，起源是与深度睡眠期间导致入睡时走形或执行其他复杂行为。如果你要叫一个呃在梦呃梦游的人起来的话，你们可以在他旁边突然间这样啊弄。呃好像拍掌，大声让他们啊、呃、叫醒，可是你不要太靠近他们，因为他们会好像昏迷不醒，哎，不是昏迷不醒，就是他们半醒半睡，有可能会有点不舒服，然后他们可能会好像，呃，比较啊、呃，会有可能会伤害到你。Okay, so now we're done with this session. This is the references. If you have any uh want to know more about it, you can search here. 这些是参考资料，所以如果你们想多呃呃多了解这些。呃，症状的呃这些呃疾病的话，你们可以来这呃这些上网来看。Okay, so it's the end of the lesson. If I have any questions, let me know. We're gonna go through the worksheets now. 所以我们呃结束这这个课程了。如果什么问题可以问我。Okay, bye bye.